What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. This is going to be a very quick one. It's absolutely unbearable here in the UK. It's about 37 degrees. I went to the gym, which was so stupid, but I mainly went to swim to cool down, but here's me going in the, <laughs> in the sauna in the steam room, and then I'm posting on my socials. Andrew Tate would start, say something like, sweating for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my story, sweating like an absolute bitch in the steam room, but it, it, it was very nice and refreshing to be honest guys. Now I'm back home, got the fans on, sorry if you can hear them, actually I have to turn it up, so really I'm sorry if you can hear it, but again, it's just, it's just too hard to even concentrate at the moment guys, but what is amazing about Bitcoin? is the weekly close now this is how the weekly candle closed and you, if we're looking at the 55 and the 69 remember this is the indicator that signals the higher low it means that this signal indicates the bottom is in so the title is going to be something like that and um, you can see if i just print the close so this is how it closed but if i print the next candle we're going to focus on the emas over here so we can see that they were almost touching and if i zoom out and we go back to previous markets you can see when they crossed over there it was already the higher low this low was higher than the previous and if we go back one more time you can see when they did cross over we already had this higher low higher than the previous so whenever these two lines cross over the blue one being the 69 ema and the uh, orange one being the 55 ema when they actually start crossing over it means the bottom was in so if we now print the next candle and we actually focus exactly on here you're going to see it's going to look beautiful look how much closer they are now guys it is ridiculous so because of yesterday's weekly candle shutting this is the new weekly candle right as of now and you can see we're starting to head up so once again once this crosses over this means that the higher low was put in so that could if we turn on the drawings now that could mean we might be heading to our target and then we come down and form that higher low once that higher low is formed the bullish cross, sorry, the bearish cross is gonna happen because this is a lagged indicator. We're waiting for this bearish cross to happen, so it's lagged. So once it's formed, it basically tells us, yeah, the move was already done. So it's a lagged indicator in that sense. So all we're waiting for is this push up, come back down. When you come back down, it's gonna drag one of them over the other like that. Crossover, bearish cross, signal the higher lows already in, and then boom, we continue. So these next couple of weeks, are going to be very very interesting for crypto and i'm so happy that i'll be able to be here on the journey with you guys with you guys at the end of this week on friday i'm going away to turkey oh i'm going away to turkey for the week lovely lovely hotel of course i will carry on making videos for you guys but for the just the heads up to all the mentorship and mentorship students that i won't be able to cover lessons uh, in that week guys in my relaxation time but of course i will try and do videos as much as possible and try and show you guys where I'm staying and all that if it's a nice place. But um, going back to the daily time frame, what we'll be we saying yesterday. I hope you've been enjoying this video so far and this crazy heat. I am trying to keep it short. It probably is the same amount of time as usual, guys. But you can see what we'll be we talking about yesterday. Potentially how this 12 and this 20 could be forming a bullish cross to signal. We're going to head to this target. So if you really want an in-depth video of what's going on right now, what am I talking about? Go over to yesterday's video, it's so clear, talking about this bullish cross about to form, how we're going to head this tech, to this technical target. And you can see that with today's candle, we're absolutely exploding. Remember, I told you that over here, we should have never got above this. And the fact that we broke above means now we've created the reversal wave and we should come to the one. I told you this yesterday. Look what happened exactly. So if you appreciate that, subscribe, comment, let me know you appreciate it. Let me know if you're a new, uh, person on the channel i hate begging for it but if you just want to give to the channel the memberships are there i'm not going to ask you to to give me money but it is there if you want the super thanks underneath all the channel memberships go check them out but finally we can see we held the 618 as we said yesterday we said if we can close above the 05 vote we should continue to the one boom both things that we said exactly happened we held the 12 ema which is the 050 and because we create the reversal wave by actually closing above the 618 now that we back tested it as support we're going to head to the one fib level everything is happening as predicted so of course we do not want to throw back we do not want to fake out we want to close outside of this 21.7k resistance and back test it as support that means close outside, come back, form some sort of wick, but closing above this area. So you can come deep 
again, but you need to hold this zone to continue up. You want to basically stay above this 21.7K with the daily close. And then the next following day, you wanna come down, retest it, but at the end of the next day, you wanna close above this. So be prepared. Again, we've created the reverse wave. We just need to break the one fib level, confirm a support to continue to our targets. Correct, but we can invalidate this again by losing the golden pocket. If we come back down and lose the 050, just as we said yesterday, go check out yesterday's video. I speak about the bearish scenario as well in detail. Today, a little summary of it. So if we lose it, you're gonna back test those reasons. We're coming back down to the support here. If it holds the support, you're good still because it's higher than this low. If you lose this support and you come down, you lose this low, we're all effed. Okay, guys, realize that. But at the moment, everything's happening as we wanted it, as we anticipated it. So if you really do appreciate that, we're trying to hit 3.1K subscribers. We were so close to hitting it. But now let's push for 3.2K. By the end of this week, let's try and hit 3.2K subscribers. We're really pushing for 4K as fast as possible. Every week, we're gonna try and get 100 subscribers. So let's really push for some subscribers from this video, guys. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope you really did enjoy this update. Go enjoy the weather. I'm gonna stay in front of the fan now. <laughs> Bye.